This is a crucial step. By 9 into 9. 5 by 9. When you multiply 9, see here, I have 5a. What is GP? When the terms are in common ratio. So, 100 by 10 is 10. 1000 by 100 is 10. See here, again, same method, but the difference is common ratio will be less than 1 in this case. Here, common ratio is 1 by 10. 1 by 10 is a number which is less than 1. Welcome to the session DS students. Today we will go ahead with problems of progressions that is geometric progressions. So now we will have 5 more questions of the form. Find the sum of n terms 555, 555 or 444 like this or 0 0.3 like this. So, so many different problems are there. So, let me take problems 555 and solve. They want you to find the sum of terms in GP. So, now here they are not in geometric progression exactly. So, we need to convert it. So, Sn is equal to, I will write it as 5 plus 55 plus 555 plus so on. Now, I will take 5 common, then it become 1 plus 11 plus 111 one, one, so on. So now you can see 1 divided and multiply by 9. I will divide by 9 and multiply by 9. By 9, 9 into 1 is 9, 9 into 11 is 99, 9 into 109 is 999. Why I should do this? Because I can convert it into GP. So further, can I write this as Sn is equal to 5 by 9. 9 can be written as 10 minus 1 plus 99 can be written as 100 minus 1 plus 999 can be written as 1000 minus 1, so on. So now I can write this as 5 by 9. So 10 plus 100 plus 1000, I am grouping. Plus, see here we have minus 1, minus 1, minus, I will take common, then it will become 1 plus 1 plus 1 till n terms. Till n terms. Now I have 5 by 9. 10 plus 100 plus 1000, they are in GP. 10 plus 100 plus 1000 till n terms, till n terms. And here 1 plus minus, 1 plus 1 plus 1 n times, if you add, you will get n. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 3 times is 3. 1 plus 1 plus 1, 4 times is 4. 1, if you add n times, it is n. Now further, I can write it as 5 by 9. 10 100, 1000 there in GP. All of you know what is Sn in GP? Sn is A into R power N minus 1 divided by R minus 1 if R is greater than 1. A is the first term. First term is 10. Common ratio is also 10. For every term you multiply 10, you will get next term. 10, 10 tens are 100, 100 tens are 1000. So now substitute. So A into, A means what? 10 into R power N, 10 power N minus 1 divided by 10 minus 1 minus n. So, you can leave it that is 5 by 9 into 10 by 9 into 10 power n minus 1 minus n is the final answer. Please observe here they give 5 plus 55 plus 555. First take 5 out. If you take 5 common it will become 1. This will become 11. This will become 101. And here 1 I can make it 9 by multiplying 9, divide and multiply by 9. This is a crucial step. By 9 into 9. 5 by 9. When you multiply 9, see here, I have 5a. Can I write it as 5 by 9 into 9a? So, 9, 9 cancels, it will be 5. So, divide and multiply. Divide by 9 and multiply by 9. Multiply by 9 means every term gets multiplied by 9. 9 ones are 9. 9 into 11 is 99. 9 into 111 is 999. Then further 9 can be written as multiple of 10. So, can I write 9 as uh, different in terms of 10? I will write. So, I will write 9 as 10 minus 1. 100 as, sorry, 99 we have. 99 can be written as 100 minus 1. I have 999. 999 I can write it as 1000 minus 1. And minus 1 you group. So, take minus common. It will become 1 plus 1 plus 1 n terms. 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, plus 1 if you add n terms it is n. And 10, 100,000 can be written as they are in GP. What is a geometric sum of n terms in GP? A into r power n minus 1 divided by r minus 1 when is r is greater than 1. Here r is common ratio is 10 and a is 
10. 10 into 10 power n minus 1 by 10 minus 1. 10 minus 1 is 9. I wrote it. This is the answer. Same technique we can use for this. So, Sn for 4 plus 44 plus 444 and so on till what? Till n terms. So, you can see 4 I can take common. If you take common it will become 1, 11, 111, so on. So, internal terms are same. What you should do? Divide and multiply by 9. 4 by 9 into 9 times 1 plus 11 plus 111. Dear students, I am dividing and multiplying by 9. This was just 4. 4 can be written as 4 by 9 into 9. Now, this 9 you take it inside. The 9, if I take it inside, Sn is equal to 4 by 9 into 9 into 1 is 9 plus 99 plus 999 so on. Now, the till n terms. Now, we will simplify this. We have Sn is equal to what? 4 by 9. Then I have 9 plus 99 plus 999 so on till n terms. That is, I will write it as 4 by 9. 9 is near to what? 10. 9 can be written as 10 minus 1. 99 can be written as 100 minus 1. 1000 can, 999 can be written as 1000 minus 1 till what? n terms. Now further, I can write this as 4 by 9. So I will group it 10, 100, 1000, so on till n terms. And similarly, minus if I take common, this is one group, minus 1, minus 1, minus 1, minus if I take common, 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 till n terms. Now, simplify this. Here, 4 by 9. See, so you know, 10, if you multiply 10, it will become 100, 100 into 10,000. They are in GP. What is GP? When the terms are in common ratio. So, 100 by 10 is 10. 1000 by 100 is 10. So, they have common ratio. What is sum of n terms in GP? All of you know, sum of n terms in GP, when r is greater than 1, sum of n terms in GP is a into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1. a is the first term, r is the common ratio. So, now we use the formula. So, I can write this as a into 10 into r power n, 10 power n minus 1 divided by 10 minus 1. Then, plus minus 1 plus 1 plus 1 is n, n terms. So, finally, we have 4 by 9 into 10 into 10 power n minus 1 by 9 minus n. This is the answer. I hope all of you understood this. Next, we have decimals. So, Sn is equal to 0 0.3 plus 0 0.33 plus 0 0.33. 333 3, 3, till what? n terms. You should add till n terms. Some till n terms. See here, again same method, but the difference is common ratio will be less than 1 in this case. We will see. So now I will take uh, yeah, <coughs> there 3, I will take common. If I take 3 common, it will be 0.1 plus 0.11 plus 0.11 plus so on. Now, further I can write it as 3 into by 9 into 9 if I do 0 0.9, 0 0.99, then 0 0.999, 9 so on. Now, you know 0.9 is little less than 1. So, I can write Sn is equal to 3 by 9 into 0 0.9 can be written as 1 minus 1 is 0 0.1 plus 1 minus 0 0.01 then 1 minus 0 0.001, so on till n terms. Now, so we get this, then 3 by 9, 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, then 0 0.001, so on till n terms. So, one group, you know, 1 if you add n times, 1 if you add n times, you will get n minus can you write it as 1 by 10 plus 1 by 10 square 1 by 100 plus 1 by 1000 
x1 till n terms. Now again they are in GP. Sum of n terms in GP. Sum of n terms in GP is what? A into 1 minus r power n divided by 1 minus r. Now going ahead, this can be written as 3 by 9 into n minus, what is a? a is the first term, first term is 1 by 10 into 1 minus 1 by 10 power n divided by 1 minus 1 by 10. Further simplify this 3 by 9 into n minus 1 by 10 into what? 1 minus 1 by 10 power n divided by 1 minus 1 by 10 that will give you 10. 10 minus 1 is 9. These two you can cancel. Further if you want you can simplify or leave it. So n minus 1 minus 1 by 10 power n by 9 is the final answer. Here I am using SN formula different. So please understand here in this particular problem we are using SN. What is SN? I am using A into 1 minus R power n divided by 1 minus R because R the common ratio is less than 1. Here common ratio is 1 by 10. 1 by 10 is a number which is less than 1. I hope all of you understood this. Now we will go ahead with the next problem. Same they want SN. So sum of n terms 0 0.5 plus 0 0.55 plus 0 0.555 plus so on till n terms. Till n terms they want you to add. As usual we will take 5 common. They are all 5 multiples. It will become 0 0.1. 0 0.11. 0 0.111 till what? n terms. And same method. What is the method? Divide and multiply by 9. So I will write 5 by 9 into 9 if I do it will become 0 0.9 0 0.99 0.999 till what n terms further Sn is equal to 5 by 9 into so 0.9 can be written as 1 minus 0 0.1 0 0.99 can be written as 1 minus 0 0.01 0 0.999 can be written as 1 minus 0 0.01 till n terms Now again group all the ones. So if I group all the ones, I'll get 1 plus 1 plus 1 till n terms. And I'll get 0 0.1, 0 0.01, 0 0.001, so on till n terms. This is one group. Simplify this. We'll get 5 by 9 is equal to 1. If you add n terms, it is n. And then we have, sorry, plus. Sorry, minus is common. So take minus common. Minus 0 0.1, minus 0 0.01. So here we take minus common and then we'll group them. When you take minus common, so it will become 0 0.1, 0 0.001. So that you can write it as what? 1 by 10 plus 1 by 100 plus 1 by 1000. So on till n terms. Now further it is 5 by n. n minus a into, a means 1 by 10 into 1 minus r power n, 1 by 10 power n by divided by 1 minus 1 by 10. Simplify this. So, we will get answer as 5 by 9 into n minus, we will be left out with 1 minus 10 power n whole thing divided by 1 by 10 and write it here. And if you take LCM 10, 9 it will be 10, 10 cancels. Your final answer is 5 by 9 into n minus 1 minus 10 power n divided by 9. This is the answer. I hope all of you understood this. Next, the first and last term of GPR 4 and 128. First term, so solution, they give first term. What is first term always? A, A is first and last term. For A is 4. Last term, we don't know last term. A r power n minus 1. The last term is 128. This is what is given. Some is 252 SN they give 252 they want you to find common ratio they want you to find R value and also they want you to find number of terms they want you to find n also now coming to the point a is 4 a r power n minus 1 is 128 SN is 252 R they want n they want so here they told this is a first term and last term now a r power n minus 1 is 128 but a is given a is for 4 into r power n minus 1 is 128 
from this you can get r power n minus 1 r power n minus 1 is 128 by 4 4 ones are 4 threes are 12 and 4 twos are so you got r power n minus 1 what is r power n minus 1 r power n minus 1 is 32 the first value we get so they told last term is 128 we don't know which term it is that's why we say general term what is general term in gp a r power n minus 1 so a r power n minus 1 is 128 a value they give the first term the first term is given as 4 so in the place of a put 4 transfer 4 to rhs you will get r power n minus 1 then sum of n terms they give sn you know a into a into r power n minus 1 by r minus n so here they have uh, number so they told first term is 4 and n term is 128 common ratio is uh, greater than 1 so then Sn, what is Sn value? Sum of n terms value they give 252. So 252 is equal to A. What is A? A is given as 4, 4 into R power n. Can I write R power n as R power n minus 1 into R minus 1 divided by R minus 1? Why I am doing this? Because R power n, my law of indices, what is what is R power n minus 1 into R power 1? R power n minus 1 plus 1, it will be R r power n minus 1 plus 1 cancel so instead of r power n i am writing r power n minus 1 into r because i know the value of r power n minus 1 so we know r power n minus 1 is what 32 since we know r power n minus 1 we'll write r power n as r power n minus 1 into r so that will become 4 you bring this set so it will become 252 by 4 is equal to r power n minus 1 what is r power n minus 1 32 so 32 r minus 1 divided by r minus 1 simplify this 4 ones are uh, and uh, 4 6 is 24, 4 3 is a cross multiply. When you cross multiply, you will get 63R minus 63 is equal to 32R minus 1. So transfer this side. So 63R minus 32R is equal to 63 minus 1. So simplify this. 31R is equal to 62. And R is 62 divided by 31. Common ratio is 31 1s are 31 2s are is 2. Common ratio they want, we got it. And use any one of the equation. I'll use the equation r power n minus 1 is equal to 32. We have r power n minus 1 is 32. And we know r. What is r2? 2? 2 power n minus 1 is 32. And you know 32 can be 2 power n minus 1 is 32. 32 can be written as 2 power 5. So n minus 1 is 5. And n is 5 plus 1. 5 plus 1 is exactly what? 6. So you got n value. What is n value? 6. So they want you to find number of terms. So number of terms is 6 and they want you to find common ratio and common ratio is 2. I hope all of you understood this. So what is given? They gave first term. What is first term? A and they gave nth term. Nth term is what? A r power n minus 1 and they gave Sn and use the formula for Sn. What is Sn? Sn is what? A into r power n minus 1 by r minus 1. r power n minus 1 from the given data you can get the value. Substitute, simplify, you will get the r common ratio and also you will get number of terms. I hope all of you understood this. So these are the basic uh, problems which are important. Please sit and revise. I will see you in my next session. Thanks for attending. Thank you.